In this chapter, we'll go through how to populate transverse section forms, which are slightly more complex. The new TM2-3 form for the transverse section replaces the traditional TM2A, TM2B and TM3 forms. This form is to be selected for all the transverse sections in each zone, as well as all the longitudinal structural items belonging to that zone. Each item's width or height will be recorded under the corresponding column. This is used to calculate a section area for the rules and an actual section area for that particular plate or profile. These calculations will be added up for each individual row in the TM8 form. The TM8 will flag up any deficient transverse sections calculated in each zone and highlighted according to the legend colour at the bottom of the form. The TM report is to display the final condition of the ship after any repairs, renewal or alterations. Therefore, the thickness as renewed values will override the gauge thickness values when entered for the actual section area calculations. You can see now that on the TM8 form, there's no reduction to the sectional area calculations since both structural elements have been renewed as built. When an item is on the centre line of the ship and has been entered as either port side or starboard side, leaving the other blank, then the calculation will assume that there is only one structural element and will not duplicate the rule sectional area for that particular item or row. In the next video, we'll go through the survey scope report section.